I'm Coyote Peterson, and that is the North American Porcupine. As you can see, he's covered in quills. Get ready, we're about to enter the spike zone. This morning, the crew and I fueled up and set off down rugged mountain roads into the high country of Montana, where we would get the chance to work with one of the most common, and proudly, the second largest rodent in North America, the porcupine. Now this is true porcupine territory right here. All these tall pines, hillsides, perfect place for them to be rummaging around in all this loose soil for uh, roots and berries and all sorts of delicious porcupine treats. These black and white forest dwellers may look adorable and cuddly, but as we all know, and I was about to experience, they are equipped with nature's reactive armor. Just beneath a layer of sensitive guard hairs, you will find thousands of barbed quills that will make any would-be predator think twice about considering the porcupine for an entree. Now, I've never seen a porcupine before in the wild. I never worked with a porcupine, so for me, this is gonna be a really unique experience. Now, the reason that I'm able to get so close to this porcupine is because it was actually raised in captivity. So this little guy's used to being around humans and sometimes cameras. Now, this is the second largest rodent that lives in North America, trumped only by its aquatic cousin, the beaver. Now, porcupines have incredible claws. They got four claws on the front and actually a vestigial thumb, which allows them to quickly climb up trees to evade predators. If you can't get to a tree in time, what they do is exactly this. Show the rump side and all those quills, you get your nose close to that, and it's gonna be a face full of spikes. Today my goal is to intentionally get quilled by a porcupine. Yes, you heard me right, I'm going to get quilled by a porcupine. I'm going to show you the right way to remove these painful barbed quills from either yourself or in most cases from the snout of your curious pet. Now I'm being told that when I perform this example I'm going to get close to 40 or 50 quills in the back of my hand. I hope you guys enjoy this at home. This will in no way cause any harm to the porcupine. Their quills are nothing more than modified hairs and they continually grow over the life of the animal. The only one who's going to experience any discomfort is me. Tell you where you don't want to get quilled in the face. That would be pretty bad. All right, what I want to do is agitate those guard hairs, and then he should thrust his tail up into my hand. Are right, you ready? Uh, I love how I get myself into these things. One, two, ooh, yep, there we go. That's a handful of quills. Now, the ones on the top of my hand really aren't that bad. It's those ones right there. Can you see how deep those are into my finger? It hurts to move my finger right now. I mean, I think they touch bone. <laughs> it hurts a lot. Um, I think most of them are gonna be pretty easy to get out. Those two are gonna be extremely painful. Well, I got a handful of quills here for my little friend the porcupine right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these out of either your hand or your dog. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty painful. All right, come on, let's go. The one in my finger hurts so bad right now. Now, it's most likely that your dog is gonna get quilled by a porcupine. And you know, you might think, oh, I'm just gonna pull that quill straight out. It's not gonna work. These have microscopic barbs on the end. And one of the cool techniques of the porcupine quill is that once it's in there, it works deeper and deeper and deeper. So you wanna get these out as quick as you possibly can. And I never recommend that you go out and get yourself quilled by a porcupine. And the reason that I did this today was to show you how to remove quills from your hand. And the reason that I snipped off the tops of all the quills is that it actually releases pressure inside of the quill, relaxes the barbs, and now they should release out of my hand a bit easier. And what I want to do is gently grab the quills, twist them, and pull straight up. I'm going to remove the ones that aren't as deep first. I want to get all those barbs and those little points out of there uh, because they can cause an infection, and that's the last thing that I want to happen. If you were a mountain lion, bear, or coyote, you got a face full of these quills. I mean, it's dehabilitating. I can barely move my hand. Now, these animals wouldn't be able to then go out and continue hunting. And I can see why eventually this could cause a large predator like that to die. Woo, my hand hurts. Okay, these are the last three. It's not like a Band-Aid. You don't just pull it off. You just pull these out, it's gonna rip all the skin out with it because of those tiny little microscopic barbs. Okay, I'm gonna twist and pull straight up. That's the goal. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, that hurt. Oh, you can see the blood pouring out now. 
You get that shot with the blood? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that really hurt. Okay. You good? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That real, I like, that was like, I could feel it pulling all the way out through the skin. Ow. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, that was buried into my hand up to the white. That is a serious quill in my coyote paw. Oh, moral of this story do not get quilled by a porcupine. I hope you guys learned something here today. If you are ever quilled, snip off the top, it will release the pressure, grab, twist, and pull it out. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.